All right, all right. Okay, so we're doing a problem. A hard version, or difficult, however you want to say it, difficult version of how to do the order of operations, okay? So this is example number one. Okay, so we'll do four times three squared times five over nine plus three. Okay? Cool, cool, cool. So here's the way I look at these, okay? And your teacher might say different, but this is the way I do it. Whenever I see stuff separated by a division sign, I like to split it up in chunks. This is one story, this is another story. I want to simplify them as much as I can before I do any division, okay? Hold on. <gasps> <sighs> Sorry, I had to check my stuff, make sure it was recording. And guess what? You just saw me see and knew it was. Or did I cut it out and switch it back? You'll never know. Okay, so here we go. So I want to look at the top part by itself, okay? Parentheses first. So can I do this parentheses? It's my first step. I want to do all my parentheses. Okay? I can do this right here. 4 times 3 is 12. Excellent. So bring everything else down the way it was. Okay? So his, this is my new problem now. I don't care about this anymore. Okay? This is now my problem. Parentheses. Boom. Nothing I can do about it. Exponent. Boom. There's something I can do about that. So it'll be 144 times 5. Over 9 plus 3. Okay, now there's still some more steps I can do. I can do the top part and the bottom part, okay? That's what I recommend, okay? I recommend getting the top down, bottom down, and then start doing that other part. So let's do the top part. 144 times 5, which would be 0, 2, 2, 2, 5, 7, 20, and then 9 plus 3 is 12. And what does that equal when you divide it? 60. And that's our answer. Okay? That's order of operations, everybody. That's the way I would do it. Okay? That's my personal breakdown of how to do this. It's the same way we did it. I split them up. I just did that last part there. Okay? If I had a division inside of it going across, I would have done that before I did any addition subtraction. But I can't because this has to do it by itself and then this by itself. Does that make sense? I hope so. That's a difficult version. What up? Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I sincerely mean that. My heart right here means that, okay? Um, if it helped, I really appreciate you check out some of the stuff I got on the internet. My website's tylertarver.com. We've got links to a bunch of math videos and a bunch of other stuff I do on the internet. Um, if you are on the internet right now, you can click on this and it'll take you to my math channel. Um, and then you can subscribe, I really appreciate it. If you click on this one, I really appreciate that too, because that takes me to my other channel that has math videos, but it's also got some other videos that I do that I think are fun that might not be fun to get my hair my Okay, um, if not, if you're on like a mobile phone or on a tablet or something, you probably can't click straight on the video. Um, just go into the comment section or the description section of the comments. Don't ever go to the comment section, but go to the description section. Um, check me out on Instagram. Um, I don't know how to draw a bird. That's a Twitter. Check me out on Twitter and Facebook if you want. I'm just at Tyler. Harbor. Okay, or you just search my name and you'll find it. I really appreciate it. I've also done a um, two easy examples, two medium examples. I did two hard examples, and then I just taught the lesson. If you go to the links in the uh, in the description, I've also got links to all those videos. If you need more help, really appreciate it. You look amazing today. Wow, what?